Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Decathlon Van Riesel Road R520 Road Cycling Shoes. Van Riesel is Decathlon's sub-brand that offers everything from full road bikes to performance-oriented cycling accessories. In this review, we'll specifically be looking at the Van Riesel Road R520 Road Cycling Shoes, which are their mid-tier shoes. In terms of packaging, you can see it's very simple rather than waste money on boxes or fancy labeling they just have a simple fabric tie a little tag on here and if you were to go to a store you would see this just hanging from a peg while it's not the prettiest design and doesn't really generate very good unboxing content it does work well and helps them keep the price low so you can see i'll just go ahead and take off the labels we have the 44 euro variation and it's only offered in black so that's the one we have let me take this off and now let's go over specs. So retail price on this is $149. So it's about $50 cheaper than the more expensive Rode R900, which is full carbon. These are a carbon composite. So it's 12% carbon according to the website. So it gives you a nice balance between performance and affordability. You have a single A-top dial for the closure system, which gives you micro tightening and then a full loosening option for putting the shoes on and taking them off. You have both two bolt and three bolt cleat compatibility, which is really cool. So you can ride Shimano SPD, Lokio, and even Shimano SPD SL. So you have really everything you need, everything aside from the four bolt speed play option. You have a flexible polyester upper material, so you can see nice and soft, so good comfort there. And you have the ventilated sole with the inlet and outlet and matching holes on the actual insole. So pretty good package and again very affordable for what you're getting in terms of what comes with these this is about it you don't get any bolts you don't get any fabric carrying case it's just these shoes themselves now let's take a look at the weight of these shoes these are the euro size 44 so if we put both of them on there that comes in at 608 grams these are van Riesel's mid-level shoes which means you get a nice affordable price point and a dial closure system, which makes it really easy to put on and take off. Currently, Decathlon only offers this in one color, which is this black. So a nice premium look, and you have some reflective detail and to keep you visible because otherwise, all black is not, not safe at night. So you have Van Riesel, you have the vertical reflective strip, and a couple different textures on here. So it's a nice mesh upper. You can see very flexible, which is what you want. You don't want a lot of structure or ridges in here that could chafe during a ride. So it's a polyester, polyurethane mix so and you have a little bit of extra structure in the front so you can see the toe has this built-in guard and then the heel cuff keeps your ankle in place so nice design and combines a lot of premium features you have perforations here on the front with this little texture to it and then this almost leather-like material on the back side and again pretty sleek you just have minimal branding so it really blends in it'll match nearly any kit some of the nice features here is the little grippy heel portion. So this combines silicone with the fabric and it makes it nice and grippy so your heel won't rise when you're sprinting or walking with the shoes, which is a really nice feature. Now what makes this a mid-tier shoe is the fact that you only get a single dial and then the Velcro on the bottom. So it's a two row wire system, so it routes up and down and helps you adjust the top. And then the bottom one, you have the Velcro, which Honestly, I believe it's a little bit more just visual than really useful because you can see there isn't really much adjustment here. You can sort of open it slightly or tighten it down. So it definitely doesn't do much. The dial is what's called an ATOF dial. Very similar to the BOA dial you see in most shoes. It has clockwise micro adjustments so you can see it pulls it in a little bit by each time with each rotation. And then to do a full release, you don't pull up, you rotate counterclockwise and then you can see it's full release. That's the only difference between ATOP and BOA, and you see ATOP and a lot more affordable products. But very easy to operate and much better than laces. You don't have to worry about them getting stuck anywhere. You also have this perforated tongue here, so you can see nice padded. The one downside of this design is you can see it is quite sharp here, so you may want to cut this, which is something I've done in previous shoes, or wear some more padded socks. Otherwise, this may dig into your feet. But you can see nice padded and almost one piece upper design. 
with a nice modern flexibility, which is what you want when you're doing long mileage or even on the trainer. If we look at the inside of this, you get a very basic foam insole. If you have a large arch or more specific needs, I do recommend swapping this out. Just basic foam, it is perforated, which will help some of the air vents actually funnel air through. You can actually see those air vents here. So there's one in the rear, and then if we look in the front, you have that front. These are actually marked, so you have the inlet and then the outlet, and they go all the way through this nice mesh covering. So a nice way to keep your feet cool. Obviously you're in wet weather, this will get you wet, so you might want to wear a cover or something to prevent the water from getting through. Now if we go to the sole, that's probably the most critical part of any cycling shoe. You want something rigid and stiff to really transfer the power down to the pedals. And with this, it's a carbon composite, unlike the Rode 900, which is full carbon. This is listed as 12% carbon, so a little bit more affordable, still stiff, but it has a little bit more give, so it's more forgiving. It's a good option if you're doing trainer rides or you're not a really full-on hardcore cyclist and more of a weekend rider. You get the nice rigidity while having a little bit of give, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. You can see it has a nice black finish. Modern design again, so it extends all the way front to rear. Toe guard on here, it's non-replaceable, which would have been nice, as these can wear down over time. And then the heel has these little pads, and again, non-replaceable. Simple black finish, and what you notice is actually dual cleat compatible. So you have SPD SL, like a mounts. The three bolt is the SPD SL. SPD on the middle, which is two bolts. So you have everything from mountain biking, training, to standard road cycling cleats covered here. Typically, you don't see these both drilled in, as it does compromise the base slightly. But with this one, it's nice that you get both, so you don't really have to choose, and you can actually switch them between them. One thing to note is that you do have these little indicators here, and that, help you, that helps you kind of position the cleat when you're putting the cleat on here. But there is no horizontal or aft adjustment that you do see with some other cycling shoes. So overall, pretty nice design and very affordable despite all the features. Now let's take a look at the shoe outside. You can see the black finish looks pretty good. It's a premium looking shoe, even though you have an affordable price point. And that single dial gives it that premium look. We would have liked to see more colors, but obviously the all black finish works with the reflective Van Riza logos. They're very easy to adjust. You leave the Velcro in place and just adjust the dial. And you can see even though these are slightly narrow in terms of toe profile, you can still fit in there because the uppers are quite flexible. So I highly recommend getting a bike fit, at least make sure you get the right size. And after that, you can get a standard size. These fit very similar to our other Euro 44s. Now on the road, these have a flexible sole and that means it's a little bit squishy. So when you're sprinting, you can feel it. And that's a good and bad thing. So if you're an aggressive cyclist, I don't recommend these shoes, but if you're more recreational and you wanna do longer rides, these are more comfortable as they're less rigid and allows your feet to actually move around a little bit more. So it's a good and bad thing. And especially on trainer and other places where you want more comfort, these shoes really excel. Otherwise, we didn't really have any problems with the performance and the ventilation on these are very good. So if you ride them on a cold day, you can actually feel that air flow through. Now let's compare the Van Riesel shoes with other shoes on the market. Here we have the Bont Motion. These are actually $100, which is very affordable, even cheaper than the $150 Van Riesel. You can see the lower price does mean you don't get a dial closure system. Instead, you have a three Velcro design, which obviously isn't as sleek looking or as adjustable as a nice dial. What's nice about Bont though, is you can see it's very wide, while the Decathlon is more of a standard or slightly more narrow toe box. So this is very wide. Something Bont is known for, it's a lot more anatomical. So wider all the way through. You can see this has just a three bolt setup with this nice rotational indicator so you can really align it. You have the pads and you can see here they're actually replaceable so you have a little bolt there you can swap out. That would have been a nice feature on the Van Riesel, something that extends the life of it. But you can see both black but the Van Riesel looks a lot more premium. What's nice about the SPD setup here is you can actually use this for commuting cycling classes, or potentially gravel riding. So here you can see our FLR shoes. These are actually more gravel riding, so you can see it has a lot more traction. Looks more like a hiking shoe with the inset cleat. So it's actually underneath, really easy to walk with. 
while the, while the Van Rysel doesn't have that feature. Instead, you do have the compatibility with the cleat, but you do have to be careful when you're walking with it. You can't really hike with it. We also have the DMT KR3. You can see it's a lot fancier looking, being an Italian design. And you have this tuxedo-like black and white finish. Single boa dial, and they've eliminated that bottom Velcro, which looks better and obviously doesn't have that much functional difference. The DMT KR3 is very soft. You can see it's almost like a, a water shoe more than a cycling shoe, while the Van Riesel has more structure to it, which I actually prefer. This is almost too soft, one of the complaints we had about it. But it does have a BOA dial versus a top, which is just a little bit different in branding and the fact that you can't pull up to release. You have to rotate it to release tension. Again, they have a replaceable heel pad, which would have been nice on the Van Riesel, but they don't have the toe pad, which means you get the scratches on the sole, something Decathlon does have. And if you're wondering what the difference between the Van Riesel 520 and the higher end shoes, it's the fact that you get dual dials. Here we have the DMT KR0, almost $500. You can see really fancy looking. Even with some mileage on them, the color really pops and you get dual BOA LI2 dials. What's amazing about these dials is you get dual direction tightening and loosening. So you can rotate it one way clockwise to tighten and then counterclockwise to loosen. So a really nice feature and then full release. So a lot more adjustability. So when you're riding, you can do micro adjustments in both directions. And you can see dual level, uh, dual dials, which means the top one does the heel and then the bottom one adjusts the toe area. So more adjustment and more fine tuning versus just this Velcro. But obviously you pay a price, so if you're not really an extreme cyclist or hardcore, I wouldn't really recommend going to the full carbon setup. So if you're more on a budget, I think the Van Rise is a great option. But if you want to be more professional, you want something lighter, stronger, and you plan to do longer rides, then a full carbon sole dual dial setup like the 900 or other DMT shoes are a really good option. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Van Riesel Road R520. What I like about them is a very affordable price. At only $150, they should fit into most people's budget. You have an easy to adjust ETOP dial closure system, which makes it really easy to adjust the fit. And they're compatible both with two bolt and three bolt setup. So you can use this for the trainer, spin class, and on the road. Some of the cons for the shoes is the fact that you do lack color options. Currently, they're only available in black. Also, that bottom Velcro strap really has little effect, so we found it really didn't affect the fit. And the flexible sole is less suited for sprinting. So although they're a good shoe, they do have a little bit of flexibility, so more aggressive riders might want the Van Riesel 900 shoes. Taking everything into account, we'd give these shoes a 9.1 out of 10. These are affordable and comfortable mid-level shoes that should fit into a lot of people's budgets. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.